Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to create professional thumbnails inside of DaVinci Resolve. First of all, search for a nice frame in your video. So this frame will be my thumbnail base. So I cut my video at this point and I delete the left part of it. Now I duplicate this clip by pressing Alt and the left mouse button at the same time. Then I go with this clip inside of Fusion. And now I try to mask out my person. So you can use the magic mask, but I will use the polygon mask. So connect the polygon mask with the media in OneNote and go into the inspector and check the invert box. Now try to mask out your person. So now the person is masked out and again hit the invert box. Also try to increase the soft edge a little bit. So and now there are two options. So the first option is to press shift and spacebar at the same time and search for shadow. Select shadow, press add, then go into the inspector and increase the softness. And now you can see behind our person there is a shadow. You can also change the shadow color. And here you can change the shadow offset. The second option is the paper edge. So I delete the shadow node. After that go to effects and search for paper edge. Select paper edge and drag it down here. Now go into the inspector and here you can change the border width as well as the edge contrast. Also, I recommend that you decrease the edge intensity to zero. Then I change the color of the border, something bright, so all right. Then left click the paper edge node and press shift and space by at the same time. Search for color corrector. Select color corrector and press add. Now here you can change the hue, the saturation and the gain. And of course you can also play around with the colors. So I recommend that you increase the saturation as well as the gain a little bit. Okay, now I go back into the edit page. So I just drag the upper clip to the right. Then I select this clip and I search in effects for Gaussian blur. Select this blur and drag it down here. And I drag the upper clip to the left. Then I just select these two clips. I go into the inspector and I increase the zoom and I change the position. All right, now I go back to effects. Now I select this fusion composition and I drag it into the timeline. And with this fusion composition I go into fusion. Now drag and drop a text plus node into the node field and connect the text plus node with the media out node. After you've done this, go into the inspector of your text plus node and change the text to your liking. Then select your font. Okay, now you can play around with the size and with the tracking of the text and of course with the line spacing. Then you can also change the position of your text, so go to layout. And here you can change the center X and center Y values. Then go to shading. And here you can change the appearance of your text, as well as the color of your text. So I click into this field and I change the color to something yellow. Then I hit the OK button and I want the fill text, so I change this option. Then you can go to the second element, so this is our outline, and you can enable it. And now you can see our text has an outline. So of course you can change the thickness of the outline as well as the color. But I don't want an outline so I click on this box. Also maybe you want to add some shadow to your text so go to element 3 and enable it. And now you can see our text has some shadows and here you can change the opacity and here you can change the glow. But in this case our background is black so I don't need a shadow. So now I go back into the node field, I select the text plus node and I press shift and space by at the same time and I search for soft glow. Select soft glow and press add, then decrease the glow size, also decrease the gain. After that again press shift and space by at the same time and search for light rays. Select light rays and press add. Now go into the inspector and hit this alpha limits effect box. And now you can play around with the position, with the length and the color of your rays. So I decrease the length and I change the color to something yellow. Also I increase the source threshold. But I think that's it for this text. So I go back into the edit page. And now drag this clip over your text clip. And now I just want to change the position of our text. So I go to the fusion composition and I change the zoom as well as the position. Also I want to change the position of our other two clips. Alright, this looks good. So now I scroll up and I select both clips and I drag them one layer down. Then again go to the effects tab, go to effects and drag and drop an adjustment clip into the timeline. Then search for vignette and go to open FX. So now you should see this vignette effect and drag it on top of your adjustment clip. 
now go into the inspector and here you can play around with the size with the softness and with the anamorphism if you want you can also add some overlays so i open my folder and i import this red arrow element then i just drag this vignette effect one layer up and i import the red arrow element into the timeline then i go to my red arrow i go into fusion and I press shift and space by the same time. Search for delta key. Select delta key and press add. Now change the background color to the green screen color by pressing pick screen color. And then hit the ok button. Now I go back into the edit page and I drag this red arrow to the left. Now I just change the position as well as the size of the red arrow. And I just want to drag and drop the DaVinci Resolve logo into the timeline. Then I drag these three elements one layer up and I change the position of this element. And now you can see the DaVinci Resolve logo is behind our person, our text and our element. So now I just want to change the position of the logo. And after all these adjustments the thumbnail is done. So now I go into the color tab. I press once right click into this field. Then I select grab still. Then I go into this field. Again I press right click. I hit the export option. Then I change the name. And now make sure that the data type is JPEG, otherwise it's too big for YouTube to upload. And then just hit the export button. So now the thumbnail is done and saved and I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or sub to my channel. Go check out one of these two videos and check the first link in the description to get some nice effects. Thanks to all channel members, thanks for your support, stay creative and bye.